So, we are in Cookland today and we're off to a monastery in the mountains just on the outskirts of Cookland and we invite you to follow us on our trek. Yes. It's a really, really beautiful day, nice weather. So, let's follow us. Let's go. guys there's our first site of the monastery we're going to looks absolutely beautiful from here nestled up in the in the mountains surrounded by forests looks lovely see if I can zoom up a bit to it beautiful Come on, guys, show us the way. Told that there is a waterfall down this way and our little guide is going to take us there so let's go and have a look see what's going on sorry about the bouncing but the bounce how uh, the ground is uneven here come on little guide show me the waterfall guys if you're ever in this part of the country Please come to Cookland. You can be in a town and then walk for five minutes and you're in the mountains. This is certainly a place we would uh, investigate more to come and have a look round for our own house. Look at the colours here. It is autumn now. We're in mid-October. <coughs> I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let's go.
science to this waterfall. This is purely local knowledge. What do you think this is, B? Well, that's certainly an adventure. Only fell in the water once. way up and we've come to this little place where you could probably sit down and have a little picnic and have a drink of lovely spring water and there's a shelter here if it's going to rain which today it's certainly not yeah great place to have a rest which we certainly need. Okay, so that's the fun bit over. We're starting to climb now. So about halfway is quite a nice steady climb. 
after halfway now you start climbing and the air is definitely changing it's definitely getting thinner mountains and they have a little stage here and every year they have something called wake up festival they even have makeshift toilets Really nice part of the the mountains here. Oh, the smell! Oh, lovely. Oh, the beautiful smell. Sabodise, wake up. Wake up, Sabodise. Wake up. <clears throat> wake up. So, being told that people come camping here. You can bring your tents, have an open fire, picnics, barbecues, which is refreshing because most places like this around the world ban you from this kind of activity in the woods. But obviously people here have a lot of sense. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, they're allowed to do it, which is amazing. I can imagine camping up here. The smell of the pine is beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Ah, oh, welcome to Bulgaria. Once again, I'll say it. One of the most underrated countries in the world. And I really can't see why. Probably the media or something. I don't know. But this place has everything. You come here barbecue look at this <laughs> you don't expect to see anything like this in the middle of a forest or woods up in the mountains I've said it but I love Bulgaria absolutely love it what do you think Mrs B amazing beautiful pine forest but the view of Ottoman Ottoman? No. Ottoman? <laughs> Autumn. 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 Autumnal. Autumnal. Autumn. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the colours changing. This is probably one of the best times of year to come up here. Well, in July they have festival. Um, it's July the festival, is it? Yeah, yeah. And people do come in here. And they do art and crafts stores. There's a lot going on. Look at this. the top and there's a restaurant and toilets 
and cafeteria at the monastery and this is something called the Holy Spring but we can have a look inside looks very nice and this is called the Holy Spring but unfortunately today it is closed but we can see the springs and yeah it looks like they're doing some work that's possibly why on the pavement there but we've got plenty of time to come back another day mm -hmm. <coughs> so monastery is over there mm -hmm. yeah. so we've made it to the monastery now this is the entrance actually quite busy quite a lot of cars here So it's a popular tourist spot. Welcome to Hopkin Monastery. Uh, the monastery was founded back in the Second Bulgarian Kingdom, back in the 12th century. Uh, but it has been mentioned in some documentation uh, describing the properties of Bachko Monastery. Uh, it dates back to the 11th century, so it may be older than uh, we believe. So the monastery has actually emerged around the healing spring and the holy water that we actually seen just now through the locked gates. The monastery was named after the holy brothers of Cosmo and Damien. They were both famous for being healers. Uh, they cured all kinds of diseases including insanity. They were using the waters of the Holy Spring in the monastery. <laughs> beautiful absolutely beautiful so this is Cookland down there yes yeah So this is the original monastery that we're looking at now. And as you can see, the monastery is actually in three parts. So the original monastery is at the beginning. 
then they put an extension on later on and then another one not so long ago I'm not sure of the dates but I will see if I can put them down in uh, the description later but have you ever seen such a beautiful view from a monastery oh not just from a monastery but look at this amazing absolutely amazing as we look at these beautiful murals in front of us you can see there's like two layers of murals uh, what that's about is at the end of the 17th century and the beginning of the 19th century the monastery was inhabited by Greek monks who covered over its original murals and then painted new ones with uh, Greek inscriptions over them. Back in the 17th century, the monastery used to have 12 of these chains we're looking at here. And the popular belief, uh, even today, is that if a sick person holds a chain for some time or have them touch the affected area, it will heal them. large icon was actually stolen at one time uh, but returned at a later date. Thank you. 